I thought he's gonna just do some big blimp to move in, but he makes that invisible so that, okay. So he, wait, what? What? No, you did not. No, you did not. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we've got a fun match that's gonna be between Rikiris and Keko. They both played in the Creative Master series, but they're going head to head right now in a four versus four. Each one of them has at least two accounts here, and they got two attacks here to do. And you can see the attacks are about to be underway, but hopefully you guys do enjoy this. If you guys want to see any other matchup, please let me know down in the comment section down below who you want to see go head to head, or maybe a team just like the Creative Math Series or the Duo Math Series. I'll link that playlist down in the video description as well. But we're getting ready for the first attack. Let's jump into it. Today's video is sponsored by Mech Arena. It's a five versus five mech shooter game that's very fun to play. It's competitive and focuses on team PVP. You take control of a mech to run and gun your way through five versus five real-time PVP matches. Mech Arena just released the amazing pilots feature with 12 completely unique pilots to choose from. Customize your pilot skills to build pilots that fit your personality and your playstyle. Collect rare, epic, and legendary pilots, then pair with any mech in the game. Mech Arena's got a ton happening this month, including Battle Pass Season 7, where you can get your hands on some amazing new skins and a bunch of other amazing items. Mech Arena is completely free to play on Android and iOS right now and you can use my personal link to get a free starter pack worth $45 which includes a steel reaper skin 500 a coins and 70,000 credits and if you're quick you can add me to your friends list right now so don't wait around so click the link down in the video description or scan this qr code to download for free now and Keko is in with the first attack good luck to you and he's coming in with a super archer and nine giants and it's kind of following that same theme of the creative master series of having some fun and not worrying about going for an all-out meta triples and if you guys really like this video you are going to like the creative math series linked again down in the description it was one of the most fun actually not one of it was definitely the most fun video series i've ever made on youtube for sure but let's see keko charging this queen in towards the scatter shot gonna try to get the queen to grab the scatter of the grand warden the enemy queen there's the rage onto his healers Oh, 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 no, the queen ability was forced right there. So that is a problem. He won't have the queen ability for later in the raid. He's got nine giants. He's got 14 wizards here. What? Look at this. He's got one super archer to the bottom side of this base. As now the king's going to path his way in towards the archer tower, the eagle compartment here as well. And the log launcher is going to cut across all the way from the opposite side. But he rages this queen back up. To keep her healthy, hasn't lured out the clan castle just yet. We got the warden on ground. Out comes a lava hound headhunter, but the queen's taking too much damage. I just don't think she's gonna stay alive. The freeze is down, and there was an earthquake in the course of the log launchers trying to remove that core. King still has his ability. Warden's ability is about to go off. He could burn it. Come on, warden, pop your ability to protect the king through the bomb tower. Yes, yes, there it is. Protected the king. Protected the log launcher and all the barbarians as the queen is continuing her path she's going to the top side actually as the middle of this base was cleared he has a clone spell and look at this bowlers coming in he's gonna clone up the bowlers that come out of the log launcher can't go with the clone of bowlers okay rc's coming to the right side queen's gonna step in for the bomb tower next yep she could burn her ability for the town of hall no wait I know she can't burn her ability. Remember, she already was forced to use ability in the beginning. And he's got no spells. Bowlers, they're dying. The warden is working on the town hall. Uh-oh. Does he is he able to get this? The queen's trying. Wait. RC still has her ability. He can do it. I think so. Look at that. RC's ability is gonna go off. And he's gonna get it. What wait, why was he why was he frustrated? What, what, what? <laughs> So with a gorgeous three-star log launcher. And now Reek Hires is in. What does he have cooked up with rocket loons and some bats? Using balloons on each side here on the left and the right, sending rocket loons into the cannon, into the multi-mortar to have this blimp try to take this town hall down with sneakies. Do we have sneaky gobbles? Oh, tornado trap spinning the blimp around. Sneaky goblins, come on. Let's take this town hall down. Minions come out. Sneaky's next. And the title's going down slowly. And yes, 
The town hall has been secured, and now the queen is off to the right side. Poison spells down to help clear a bit of maybe the headhunter. But we do have a super minion in this defensive CC. And there's another poison spell for the queen to get through. And notice he's got 13 hogs. He's got a golem, some ice golems as well. But this golem is tanking for the queen through the ground expo as we got an ice golem. The king to the bottom side still has eight fat spells to use. Ice golem gets sprung right away. Down in the bottom compartment. Baby dragon going down to the air defense. And there's a giant. There's an ice golem. Look at the giant. Oh, the giant was probably to test for a spring trap so that the ice golem wouldn't get launched right away. But the king's ability goes off. Freezing up the enemy royal champion. The scatter shot. The Tesla's right through here. He's looking to get all this value. If the ice golem dies, it can freeze this area as well. Rod champs going into the multi. RC's ability goes off. Hits some of this. But the king is not able to grab the scatter shot here. So that's a problem. We do have the multi target inferno going down to the raw champ. We still have 13 hogs. Oh, we got bats coming straight on in as a bat wave. Oh, the RC cleared the scatter. Wait, bats, you got to make your way into the eagle. Bats, don't get hit by the splash. Yes, they made the way into the eagle and they survived. There's the freeze onto the multi. We got the scatter shot. It's going to hit. No, the scatter was late. Oh, it was a little bit late there. So the bats are going down, but we got the hogs. Still have the warden on the right side to move his way in with some balloons. Rocket looms as well. Headhunters coming into that compartment. Pops that warden eternal tome. The queen's going to die off. And the hogs are making their way. Look at that with bats coming from the left side through that area. What a way to use bat spells. But can he still get this? He's got it in Viz. He's got the... Yep, uses on the hog. The warden's trying to help. They take out the scatter shot. This is actually so nice. What? 24 seconds, no time. Oh, no. What's going to work on the king platform? And this, nothing. This is going to be the problem. He sends a wizard down there, and it's going to be a time fail, if anything. Hogs are going to try a little bit. Warden is taking some damage. Down goes the barracks, but he can't grab the king platform. And that is going to stay up. Oh, what a nice try to Rikirez. But he's going to time fail this one. The hog almost, and Warden almost took out that cannon. But it's only the 95% two-star right there for his next attack. And he's got a few more super arches this time. And 13 healers. Okay. 13 healers in the mix. Queen is over by the eagle artillery. And we drop the hog and the flame flinger to go in and grab this eagle. Reach this area just out of range of this mortar. So the eagle should be going down here and help secure that. We've got a warden doing a mini little warden walk. Well, he's got plenty of healers that he doesn't have to worry. He can just warden walk to the right side and clear this area. And at the same time, he's going to do a skelly donut onto the infernos, onto the clan castle. And he grabs both the multi, the single, and the CC at the same time. Great job as the warden is coming to the right to help push his way through. And the queen is down. He's going to do a little queen charge to the left to grab that multi-target inferno. Okay. The double or even maybe a triple hero charge as the warden grabs this air expo. The town hall is up. So we have to be careful about that town hall here now as we've got the flame flinger. Is it... No, it took a little bit of... No, wait, actually, no, I take that back. It didn't take any damage because remember the, the health of the flame flinger does decrease slowly over time, just like the log launcher. But his queen is charging her way to the left side into the multi, into the defending king to help grab that area. Warden seems like he's going to slowly go for the town hall as he can drop some rages for this warden in this area. The flame flinger is now going to work onto the mortar. Queen still has her ability. Has two rages and vis and a freeze left over as our super archers. Oh, look at that. Super archers with the healers up top are going to go and help clear that section as the king is now going to path his way into the scatter. This warden is taking forever to eventually step into the town hall. And the flame flinger is about to open. The queen is still going. There's the flame flinger. We got Velks and a hog rider coming out. And the royal champ's going in. Warden's under rage. Pops this king ability. Warden needs to grab this town hall slowly, but surely the ground expo's locked down. The queen's going down. Drops a balloon wizard to the top side. We've got this ground expo that is still there. The queen... Wait, no! The queen's ability was forced, so the queen's still alive. I thought the queen was completely dead. 
We still have the Warden Eternal Tome. We've got an invisibility. What is he going to use the invisibility spell on? Maybe his Royal Champ. He's got the Warden Eternal Tome for it. No, yes, he used it on his Queen to the bottom. And she doesn't have any healers, but she does grab the scatter shot. Royal Champ and her ability. Come on, Warden. Okay, there it is. RC's ability goes off. He can use the Warden Eternal Tome. Yes, and he does for the Valkyrie. For his RC, which got slowed down so much by the Tornado Trap spinning around. Does he have the time? Does he have the time, though? The Valkyrie is going over. The enemy Royal Champ's dead. The King goes through. Come on, Super Archers. Reach over the wall and grab the Army Camp. And he's got it. Another triple. What an attack with 13 healers. What was that? Rikirez with his next hit here. And coming in with eight healers. Some Valks. A Lava Hound. Seven Invis. Rikirez with seven invisibility spells with the balloons around behind the hound so the balloons can go into the scatter. He's got a stone slammer that's coming in. Not a blimp. I thought he was going to just do some big blimp to move in, but he makes that invisible so that... Okay. So he... Wait. What? What? No, you did not. No, you did not. What? How did you get that stone slammer into... Rikiris! What a plan with an Invisto Slammer to route it in and... Huh? huh? That was absolutely insane. To get the Stone Slammer to pass behind the Town Hall. To then get the single target Inferno. That was insane, Rikiris. How did you plan that? What? Now the Queen's going to charge her way to the bottom side towards this Eagle Artillery. We've got the Warden being used on the far left side to help grab that area. And the King is moving his way into the Eagle with the Royal Champion down south. Some Wizards down there. But that Stone Slammer is next level invisibility timing. And, okay, I'm still shocked by it. I'm still blown away. That was wild. As the King's ability goes off to the bottom section. The Warden is still walking over there. The Queen's going in for the multi-target Inferno. RC's got her ability. Okay, Eagle's going down. The Warden can help grab this Tesla farm, but this ground expo is a huge pain. Rages this queen up here. Hang on here. Wait. The Royal Champion seems like she's going to go down. He's got some Velks that can come back around into this multi. Freezes up the enemy queen and the scatter so his queen can keep going. Come on, you're going to have to burn your Warden ability pretty soon here. And boom, perfectly timed Warden ability to protect the Velks, protect the King, move his way through. He's got a minute left in this raid. What? Pull some red air bombs for his healers. But what? I'm still blown away from the stone slammer. That was insane. As he's still got the queen ability. He's got one invis left with two sneaky goblins. Down goes the air defense. Wow. Okay. King is going to the top side with the... Can he's taking out the cannon. We've got the queen ability. We've got an invis and some wizards. Drop some brilliant this is a close one coming down to the final set of attacks even though this is just a four versus four not a five versus five war and oh my gosh this man makes it even more toxic and he makes the mortar invisible are you serious Kako is in again here we go with 23 headhunters 23 headhunters with the queen towards the bottom side okay Let's see this charge. Some giants off to the right. Log launchers in. To be damaging the eagle and opening up towards the multi-target inferno, it looks like. Taking this area down. The royal champion's already down as well. Rages this queen up as she's going to step through the king. The grand warden altar. The enemy queen. Uh-oh. That's a lot of heroes. Oh, take out this king. Slow him down. Oh, oh. Okay, got that. And, I mean, he's got plenty of headhunters. Oh, the enemy queen locked down the log launcher, so it opened. But the Yetis are going to come out. They're going to go in for the middle multi-target Inferno. Out comes three super minions. The Queen's looking healthy. It's going to clear the core of the multi. Okay, yes. The multi does go down indeed. Makes the Royal Champ invisible. So his RC cleared the other multi. Brilliant. Okay. As the Queen... Oh! Oh no, the Queen's ability. I could see his reaction before it happened. The Queen's ability goes off and was forced... He definitely did not want that to happen. He drops a poison spell, some archers to keep these super minions into the poison on the far right side. And now he's got to be focused. He cannot lose this queen's ability. He's
cannot lose this queen's ability. He's got a lava hound. Why? Why does he have a lava hound? He's got an earthquake. He's got the king to use on the far left side. What is the hound? To pull traps for these healers? Don't tell me what that's why the hound's there for. No, okay. He's got a hound and warden to the top side. Pops that so that the air expo or something can tank the... What? Huh? Why is there a hound? He's got a king that can burn his ability. There's the earthquake onto the town hall. The headhunters are under the heal spell. Pops the king ability. Remember, no queen ability here, but the queen avoids the town hall. The king's working on it. He's getting spun around. Oh no! The tornado trap was clutch! No, you gotta be kidding me. The town hall's staying up. Wait, Wait a, a second. second. That, that town hall, that tornado, that tornado trap, trap was, was too much, much and no and queen no ability attack, and, and the builders, builders are repairing it. it. To, to add, add on, on top, top of that, that the headhunters are coming are through. through. Queen's queen dying off at the high percentage. percentage. But well, no, no, that, that town, town of hall, hall it does, does not go down. down. You can see Rikiris is happy. His, his base defense defend. holds Hold off. off. Wow. Gex, a really, really nice, nice try. try. What, what a plan. plan. Look at the wood. He's trying to get a little bit more. He down goes the head on the single. Rikiris is live. Here we go with four E Dragons. Starts off with the balloons to the bottom side of this base help find a tesla farm i don't think he was expecting a tesla farm down there uses out wait how many sneakies does he have do you have like 20 plus sneakies are here okay i mean i think he wanted to use e-dragon down here which there is a sweeper air defense stays drops another rack loon onto the tesla which goes down one more rack loon onto this air defense which doesn't go down which does not go down that's gonna be a problem what's the plan now okay well, that Tesla farm definitely threw him for a loop. Drops an E-Dragon, which is going to chain. Oh, the E-Dragon chains and hits the air defense. Brilliant. Nice job there. As we have an E-Dragon going towards this eagle now here. As we got a blimp. As this E-Dragon is taking a rage. He's got the freeze. He does do that. In, yep. Uh, skeleton onto the near the eagle. As this E-Dragon is chaining through the Archer Tower, is going to go through the Air Expo as well. Brilliant E-Dragon. He's going to get the Blimp to land in this multi and single target in front of him. He doesn't want the Blimp to go for the Town Hall because he has the Sneakies. He has one Invis, and that's what it's going to be for. With two Poison Spells for the CC, it's going to land. He's got an E-Drag to the bottom side as well, which is going to change into that Scatter Shot. One more shot, E-Dragon. Yes, it grabs it as it got pushed back as well. And down goes the core with the Yetis under Rage. As here comes his king and queen. With uh, the royal champion to the top side, Sneakies are going to have to work onto this town hall. Drops another one. Uh-oh, wait a second. They're going to move in, pull some traps. We got... No. I don't see any small bombs. There Are there any giant bombs on that side? No, he's good. Okay, it gets some shots off. He's going to have to use the invis. Bam, perfectly used invisibility spell. Tano is going to go down just in time. And a three-star will give Rikiris the lead if he can get it. He's, I mean, he's got the queen ability. He's got the royal champ ability with a poison and a free still to use. And this is good. Look at this. The only question would be time here as the RC's ability can help clutch up the bottom of the space. Moving his way through with the headhunter, two minions, two wizards. Wait a second. Okay. The queen. Okay, the RC ability hits the air defense. That goes down. 35 seconds. Ooh, okay, he's moving his way through. Queen's got our ability. You're probably going to see a poison spell because there'll probably be skellies over here. It's going to be my guess. Buy that scatter shot, so be ready for... Yep, there's one skelly. I'm, I'm worried about the skeletons over here. King's going to run around. There's another skelly. There's another. There's another. Uh-oh. Hurry up. 10 seconds. 10. Go. Fast. There he goes. Go. No way. There's one Tesla. Three. Two, one, you gotta be kidding me! Oh my gosh! What? Wow, we barely got that. I was scared of the skellies that were gonna be in that scattershot compartment, and it's a three star. Kako is in. If he triples, that's gonna put the pressure on to Rikira as to have to triple in the end because Kako has the average destruction percentage lead. So here comes the blimp, finds the Tesla farm down here. It's going to land in Viz. Ooh, the scatter shot got a shot there. So he's looking to clear this area. 
And he's got five bats. Okay, there's the next invis. Super wizards are clearing here. Gonna grab the scatter. Down it goes. S the storage as well. Then he can go. Oh, giant bomb. Rip to the super wizards. They're gone. He has one more invis. He's gonna pull the CC to the bottom side. Uses a Valkyrie to help take out the Headhunter. And one more spin. Boom. Down it goes. No problem there. But the Hound, though, is going to follow the Valk, which the Queen's going to follow the Hound. Oh, this is going to be a problem. This can be a problem. Uh-oh. Okay. Wait. Okay. The Hound comes back. Oh, that was smart. That was my worry. I was going to be scared that the Hound was going to follow the Valkyrie everywhere. So he had to force the Hound to stop following the Valkyrie there. And he did just that to keep the Queen on track, going to the right side, which it looks like. As he got 18 Headhunters. He came close in that one, the Headhunter. Oh, Queen. What? The Queen steps in range of this Ground Expo. You've got to be kidding me. Okay, she's out of range here. Need oh, she steps back in range. No way. No way. No way. He's got some ice golems. This ground expo is hitting the queen. That's the worst case scenario. He needs that queen's health. Oh, man. She needs to go all the way through the space, but her ability is going to be forced. That's going to be a problem. As the royal champion's coming to the right side, her ability now goes off. Why, queen? Why didn't you not just stay on the outside? There's no way he thought that was going to happen. As the headhunter's warden ability already goes off, the town hall's on the bottom side. He's got bass as well. How? What's the plan for the town hall? I don't think anything. I can't see the channel going down. He's got bats. He's got a heal. He's got no freezes. Oh, he's got 12 sneakies. But he doesn't have an invis. He doesn't have an invisibility spell because he used it already on the hound. Uh, well, um, uh, yeah. Uh, well, maybe he uses bats to distract the town hall. It's going to be my guess. Let's try to save it. That's my only guess. There's no way. There's a town hall. Tornado trap. Giant bomb. Small bomb. If he saves this town hall, I'm going to be in utter shock. There's no way he saves this. There's the sneakies. He doesn't have the invis. There's the heal. There's the bath to provide the distraction. No way. Ow. Oh. Maddie tried to get. Oh, no. Rip. The one star. I think, I think he forgot that I was his last one visit and he needed to use the sneaky. I didn't even realize really like he was going to send sneaky to the town hall. Um, yeah. Henry Kirez is coming in with his final attack. And he's got 18 hogs, a bunch of sneakies as well. He's got a siege barracks with some super wall breakers coming to the left, which is going to open up the side here and grab this area. We've got the siege barracks being used. Pekka, Yetis down to the bottom side, moving their way in towards the eagle artillery. And we got a baby dragon onto the cannon that's going to force the king and the queen into the scatter shot. Drops a skeleton spell. Wizards are grabbing this air defense. Expo is going to take out the P.E.K.K.A. Or tanking. The P.E.K.K.A. is kind of tanking, I guess, as the wizards are going in. And the king and queen are going in towards the scatter. King's ability goes off. Pulls out the CC of archers, headhunters, lava hound right in this bottom compartment. The eagle should be going down. Oh, here comes the hogs. Is the hogs coming out too early? I mean, he's going all out. There's the quad quake into the core of this base. Did he miss? The, or did he take three quakes? I don't know. I'll have to look after this attack. As the hogs are moving their way around, the poison spell is down. His royal champion's already been used over on the left side by the queen. But I'm just, the walls didn't open up. So that's the thing. What was the plan with the earthquakes? Because he's got two invis to use for his queen, potentially, as she walks her way up and around. He's got 13 sneakies still as well to use with some freezes that can be used onto the multi. The queen steps into the town hall, and the town hall goes down to the queen's ability. Eh, oh! No. But the sneakies finish it so he can use the invis somewhere else. Uh-oh, but he uses on these hogs that go to the top side. Headhunters come across. He's got five sneakies left. These hogs are dying. Oh, ouch. Bye-bye, hogs. Headhunters try to clear that. He's got the sneakies up and around, but all he needed was the one star. And GG to Riquirez. His bases have defended. Unfortunately, Keko, he went all out, right? You, you definitely have to hand it to him. He didn't want to go for any safe two stars. He went all out. If he got the one, he got the one. But be sure to let me know who you want to see in the next matchup in a video just like this as this finishes with a 10 to 8 76 
to a 75. And remember, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe down below for videos just like this.